Boyer here at the Ford Performance Technical Center. Look who I got, Brad Keselowski, that's right. Guess what? You're gonna follow me. Let's go. I gotta get the trash control turned off. Did you just do a burnout in Ford Performance Technical Center's parking lot? Do you, do you realize I that? Think so. I'm telling Edsel. Man, playoff time, baby. We're gonna talk a little playoffs. I wanna know all about your playoffs, your outlook, your quest for another championship, which by the way, it still irks me. I know hey. it does. I know it does. I had to beat you for the first one. Yeah. Yeah. You were I, really good I, that I, year, man. That was the only, one, was really the only that one that I ever had a shot at. I had a shot at that one. Well, you certainly know a thing or two about electric vehicles. Tell me about this hot rod that I'm driving, the Mustang Mach-E. What's your favorite thing about this car and where it's headed? Well, I love the both Mustangs. You, know, you got your traditional Mustang that I'm driving, then the Mach-E Mustang, the electric version. And they got, uh, both of them really got some cool things about them. Of course, the Mustang will always be a Mustang. It'll always be fast, it'll always be cool, it'll always be fun. But the Mach-E adds a new flavor to it, right? It adds the flavor of, you know, not having to stop in those gas stations and being emission free and uh, driving a car that's super quiet and smooth. It's just a 21st century car and uh, Ford is now right there on the leading edge of all the technologies that I think uh, our kids are gonna drive and, and know uh, as the future of the automobile. So I'm so happy for Ford to see them kind of innovate and get into this new technology space and I can't wait till my Mach-E comes in. Well, let me guess, yours is ahead of mine? Probably, yeah, but well, hey, it's, it's- Oh, man. Don't take it personally, Clint. I mean, it's not like I'm gonna, you know, rub it in your face or anything. I'm just gonna take this one. That's it's said. So I can beat Brad Keselowski. It's something in life for crying out loud. I'm just taking this one. Edsel, if you're watching, this is it, you just lost a vehicle. So out of all the playoff races, which one's your favorite? If I had to bet, not saying anything, just needing a little bit of help here. If I'm betting on old Brad Keselowski, where would I do that at? Uh, you know, I, I like a couple, there's two races that really stand out to me. Uh, I really like uh, the track uh, in Martinsville. Uh, you know, it's been a yep. good track for us. And then Talladega. I think those two tracks are two of our best tracks and we're gonna have a shot to win at those two. And my goal, Clint, is, you know, I wanna have that picture with a NASCAR Championship Cup trophy. And, uh, you know, that opportunity's in front of us this year. It was in front of us last year and we came so close. It's in front of us this year. And boy, I can't think of anything prouder that, that, that would be in my life than having a second cup championship and having that picture with my wife and my two daughters in Victor Lane, that would uh, that would mean the world to me. And to close out your tenure with, with Penske, I mean, I could yeah. you ever script anything better than that? Uh, the appreciation, the opportunity that both of you gave one another, um, you handed them a, a championship, which is why they hired you. And if you walked out the door with another one, uh, I couldn't imagine how, how good that would feel. One heck of a way to go out. And you know, I feel like my pit crew is phenomenal. We've got that really, you know, tightened up. Um, so I'm super proud of them. We got to get a little bit faster. Hopefully we can find those pieces over the next uh, few weeks, but the execution has been really strong and you never know. That's the fun of these NASCAR playoffs. It's been fun. I'm going to close it at that. It doesn't get any better than that. Talking about closure, talking about championships, talking about Brad Keselowski every time. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate you, Clint.